Well, records are meant, meant to be broken, and uh, someone did break a record just a couple of days ago, um, a, a record which really had been standing since 2001, 2011. The first one was uh, 2001, yes, yeah, uh, Florence Cinema Pongoli, uh, really uh, having the a record of having scored nine goals at the Under-17 World Cup, and that, of course, uh, was equaled by Suleimani Koulibaly in 2000 and uh, 11, and a Nigerian did break all of that, scoring 10 goals. Uh, uh, Mino just concluded on the 17 World Cup in Chile. Well, I have him in the studio here this morning talking about uh, Victor Usime. Victor, good morning. Good morning. And also have your colleague, uh, uh, Funshok Bangboye, in the studio. Funshok, good morning. Good morning. I'm very quite sure you guys are elated, having done what you did in Chile. I um, uh, heard um, your coach, Amunike, saying uh, that uh, proud to your leave in Nigeria, you were like motherless children. In terms of the way and manner the Nigerian Football Federation treated you, uh, Nigerians didn't really have that faith in you guys, that you could do um, the business in Chile, uh, knowing very well that your team failed to get to the finals of the under-17 African Championship that was held um, in Niger, I think. Uh, you lost in the semi-finals and that was won by Mali. Well, I start with you, Osime. Going to this competition, uh, what was the mindset of the team, of the players? Um, um, the, the mindset of the, of the team and uh, of the players was that, uh, irregardless of what, what was happening in the Federation, the way they are treating us, um, our coach normally tells us that we shouldn't let what they are saying or what they are doing to weigh us down because of um, where we are going to and what the objective of what we want, wanted to achieve. So I think we, are, we have already set ourselves up and prepare and prepare for the um, for the tournament. That's why we are doing well. Okay, uh, Funcho, what would you say was the tonic for you guys? I mean, uh, a team that failed to reach the finals of the African competition, which was supposed to be like the bedrock for you. Uh, going to the world stage, at the world stage, you were able to find yourself in the finals, uh, moving all the way. The only uh, a bleep was the loss to Croatia, which was inconsequential, though, because you had already qualified. I mean, what was that um, a motivating factor for you guys? Um, it's like... Again, the Croatia team, like, uh, I think we are not complete. Like, me, I missed the, uh, the game, I didn't play. Um, mm. You got the red card. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, 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 I got the red card, but, you know, um, our team, like, we only, we, like, some relax is there, that like, maybe we are uh, achieve our objective, you okay. know, those stuff. So, after that, when we lose the game, so our coach called us, talked to us, hey, guys, hey, we need to do this. This is not how we play. This is not how this, so... We should, we should remember what we are doing about so you know and after that we catch up playing our game forget about the Croatia team mm. that we lost so mm. okay w w well you were the only Nigerian player at the tournament that bagged the red card you don't look, look like a bad boy anyways um Osime <laughs> which which of the games that you guys played in Chile you, you, you had them um, six games um, seven games, I so, beg your pardon. So, uh, uh, which of those games would you say was the toughest for you? Uh, I think um, yeah, against the, the Chile team. Because mm. um, we are the played, host team. Yeah, the host team. Because it wasn't easy for us, though, playing against the host, millions of crowd um, mm. in the stadium. So I think. God, I think that was the that was the most tough game. Tough game mm. because we were a like, lot of crowd is there. Mm. No, you supporting us. We don't have any supporter. Mm -hmm. Many crowd shouting. <laughs> on. Maybe you have ball. Hey, but you, you guys ended up winning that game. Five goes to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah because we have focus. We focus <laughs> on what we are doing. We know our objective. We know where we are. In, why we are um, as in why we are in Chile. Mm. So you need to. Well, yeah, having lost to Mali on the African continent. No, we didn't play Mali. Okay, in I mean losing the title, the African title to Mali in in the African, I mean on the African continent, um, at the world stage, uh, what was going through your mind? I mean, you you playing the African champions. This is a team that won a title you couldn't won on the continent. What went through your mind? What did the coach tell you? Uh, uh, no, he just told us to uh, to remain focused. Going to the game fully weather, knowing fully weather, and the, and the um, Malians are very good side. We should take our chances and as well as respect them because they are very good side. So I think um, we have already set ourselves up and we know uh, why we are in Chile. And all we wanted to do was to um, defend, defend the cup and I, and I thank God we did that. 
Okay. Well, um, I would make reference to what it's uh, really standing right in front of you, uh, the Adidas uh, um, Golden Boot. Uh, that is coming sequel to your scoring 10 goals. Did you envisage you would break Cinema Pongoli's uh, record? I never knew I was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I never knew I was... <laughs> I never knew I was um, um, chasing the record or trying to uh, surpass the okay. record. All I wanted to do was to um, score goals and um, um, win, win for the team because and the goals are only important when they win matches. That's and true. Think, and I think um, I'm very, I'm very glad that my goals were important and as well as winning this um, golden boot and, and um, surpassing the, the record. Well, your one goal was also very important um, for yeah. Shapango, even though you didn't win um, uh, the golden boot, you were yeah. instrumental uh, to the team's success. Now, tell me, what is uh, that very uh, a strong point? I mean, what is the strongest point? Uh, 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 or rather, let me put it this way and say, what is the strength of the Manuel Amunike team, which you are part of? Uh, the strength is like motivation, as in the way he talked to us. Um, we strong together and we play together, like, you know, we should know what we are doing, like, uh, we don't have anyone over here, so nobody is taking, so. Okay, well, uh, um, I'll come back to you again, Victor. Uh, I actually read the story last night when I was taking the news that uh, you were on the verge of um, signing a contract with Tottenham. Can you shed more light on that? How true is that? I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is all about the British press. I have no idea. That you are on the verge of signing for Tottenham Hotspur. No. Okay, now tell me, which clubs are approaching you at this point? Um, right now, there, there are so many clubs. Well, I think those that are representing me, we, we surely take care of it. But for now, I just want to remain focused because I've been, I've, I've been called off for the under 23 camp too. Yes, Samson so, CRC wants you. Yeah, so I just want to um, remain focused and, and as well as helping the team also if I'm picked. Okay, uh, I, I would ask you this again. Um, as a player, as a striker, who is your role model? Um, did he drop? Because mm. uh, he's the kind. But of, you're not as big as him. Uh, of course, yeah. Because um, he's the kind of um, player I would just I would like to be as a player and as a person. Because um, if Drogba is playing, you, you always want to win, and mm -hmm. that is the mentality I've always had since from um, from my childhood. Are you indirectly telling me you want to play for Chelsea? No. <laughs> If I would, if I am if I if I'm opportunity to play for Chelsea is a great privilege for me because okay. um, Chelsea is a um, is a great club so I think playing for them will be the greatest opportunity some of our favorite in this life. Okay, for sure. Who is your role model as a player? Ah, uh, Ibrahimovic. Wow. Yeah. Ibrahimovic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I also a striker. I'm not a winger. So. Okay, 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 okay. Tell me, how many clubs are on your radar right now? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And which club would you like to play for? Uh, I don't know. Okay. But I know very soon. I hope you know soon. soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I really want to thank you for your time on the program at yeah, this time. Um, uh, we understand that um, uh, President Muhammad Buari will be holding you guys to reception on the 29th of um, November. I, I hope you know that. Yeah. Okay, you know that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. You know, and uh, one of which is said, you guys should hold your heads high, and I hope you will do that to the latter. Um, acting president of the World Football Governing Body, uh, FIFA, that's um, Isla Hayato. He's African, like you and I, and he's also congratulated you guys uh, for your feats in Chile. And I also want to, on behalf of TV Continental, say a big congratulations to you guys. On behalf of Emmanuel Amonik, I spoke with him this morning. On behalf of every other member of the team, Congratulations for your feat. Thank you very much. Yeah, God bless you.